the Grand Island Hastings and Carney local forecast with meteorologist Kit Kloniger. Well, temperatures around the area are starting to get into the teens here for the Tri-Cities. Already single digits, though, towards the east. We've got nine right now in Lincoln, capital city there on our sky cam. Very nice view this evening. We've got clear skies, and that's going to help those temperatures really start to plummet. So over the next few days, we're going to be seeing a lot happening. So tomorrow, temperatures are going to be very cold. After cold single-digit lows tonight, we're only getting up to about 15 degrees tonight. Then over the next couple of days, we'll see those temperatures returning to the mid-30s, which is around average, but with that, comes some winter weather. And now you see we've got a 30% chance on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Some models have a snowstorm or a rain snow mix on a couple of these days. Some models don't. So it's still a little bit uncertain, but I really think this Tuesday event is only going to be for eastern Nebraska. We'll see that highlighted on Futurecast here in a moment. But by Thursday, the consensus really starts to diverge, and it's really a little bit more of a difficult forecast by then. But it looks like we'll have more cold air in place, might be seeing more of a snow event. After that, though, temperatures are going to remain in the 30s, and we're not going to be quite as Arctic air around the area as we get towards the end of the week. Looking at temperatures right now, significant because we've got negative temperatures in South Dakota and Iowa right now. Six degrees in Norfolk. Last night we were at minus five at this time, so about 10 degrees warmer. But as you go across the western part of the state, temperatures warm up to the 20s, where earlier today they were in the mid to upper 40s. So cooling down still around that area. Feels like minus one in Lincoln. Feels like uh, negative single digits across much of those eastern counties in Nebraska. Feels like minus 18 up there in Yankton, South Dakota. We'll still see those wind chills getting down to the negatives here for the Tri-Cities area, but we're looking at negative 20s possibly across northeastern Nebraska. So a very cold morning tomorrow. This is at 645 in the morning. Then as we head through the day, wind chills come back up to just positive and then tomorrow or Monday morning into Tuesday morning, we'll see those wind chills still in the negative. So it's going to be a very cold period of 48 hours. Then once we start to see those temperatures warm up, wind chills won't be as much of a factor. Satellite and radar, we've got a lot of clear air. Winds are streaming out of the northwest in the mid levels, but we've sort of got northerly winds here at the surface. So a little bit of that uh, wind shift across the area. But overall, we're just going to see some very thin high clouds, and that's not going to be enough to really insulate us and keep us warm overnight. We've got that high pressure, like I said, that's bringing some of that northerly wind, but eventually it turns to a southerly wind. And as we head into Tuesday, we see all of these isobars here, all of these lines, whenever if they're really close together, that means high winds, and we see a lot of uh, those close isobars over the next couple of days. Tuesday around 6 o'clock, we've got this chance for some mixed precip coming through, so that could be our first wave of some wintry weather coming in. Looking at a little bit further, it turns into more of a snow system across eastern Nebraska, so we'll have to keep a monitor for that, especially for our Lincoln viewers. Anywhere east of or west of 281, likely won't be seeing anything on Tuesday. Then as we head towards Wednesday, we see another system starting to develop. Now notice here, all of this is depicted as snow. Now as I switch to a long range model, it turns that into rain. So that just shows that there's a little bit of uncertainty there over the next couple of days, what that precip type will be. But overall, it's still showing the system in the same place. We'll see a low pressure center start to come up from the south across the Missouri and Mississippi River Valleys, and that's going to bring in some moisture around the backside of it. That's going to be what we see. So this is Thursday. We start to see potential for some snow into eastern Nebraska. Once again, west of 281, not really seeing much of anything. Lows overnight tonight are going to be getting down to the single digits, like I said. So around two for the Tri-Cities, two for Lincoln. Northeastern Nebraska, though, likely going to be down below zero once again. And then tomorrow afternoon, this has been a story we've seen over the past several days. We've got single digits across northeastern Nebraska and only up to the upper 30s there in western Nebraska, but it's still going to be a cold day for all of us. Alicia?